Hello, I'm Lou and welcome back to Open Up The Cloud. So one thing when I'm talking to people that get into the cloud industry that I do recommend to people time and time again, rather than just picking up a whole bunch of different skills, is to spend that time and actually look at different job descriptions, find out the key skills for the different roles that you're applying for, and then build a learning plan around that. So let's jump straight into it and let me share with you the top skills I found from these job descriptions, over 100 different job descriptions analyzed. It's a heavy emphasis on the cloud engineering role, but I also looked at solutions architect, I looked at some support roles and things like that. The number one skill that was mentioned in 70% of different job descriptions was AWS. Yes. This is probably unsurprising if you're looking at cloud roles, then of course cloud providers are going to come in there and AWS being the biggest cloud provider, I'm not surprised whatsoever that coming out as top. And then the second biggest one in there, quite surprising for me for it to be so high up in this list, but I'm not surprised that it's in there at all, which is Terraform and that was coming at 47%. So nearly half of different job descriptions were asking for Terraform itself. The reason for that is I think Terraform continues to be really popular within cloud teams itself. I think if I had looked at sort of more dev oriented roles, then maybe things like CDK, AWS SAM or serverless framework or some of these other tools might come out on top. However, because I had a, quite a large emphasis in this data set on cloud engineering, I think that's why that Terraform was coming out as top. And then interestingly, underneath Terraform with 43% of jobs mentioned it was Microsoft Azure. Same as AWS, I'm not surprised to see that in there, but it's interesting to see sort of 43% versus 70% for AWS. I don't think that really means anything too much. It just means that both AWS and Azure are both great skills to have if you've got both and even better. And then maybe not surprisingly, coming in with 40% of the different job descriptions mentioned it was Kubernetes. Kubernetes. Kubernetes has been growing in popularity over the last few years, and it's clear that the Kubernetes continues to be strong. In with 36% of the job descriptions was our first programming language, which is Python. Again, I'm not surprised to see Python in there. Python is a scripting language. It's really easy to use. It can be used for sort of web development, for scripting, for Lambda functions, for writing infrastructure as code, things like that. And then unsurprisingly, coming in with 29% was Linux. Now, Linux is clearly the most popular operating system for many different cloud teams all over the world. So it's unsurprising that Linux was mentioned in the majority of job descriptions. And then last on the top list was Docker with 26%. Now I'll jump ahead as well and say that from looking at some of these different job descriptions, it's very clear companies are really doubling down on container-based technology. I'm seeing container-based stuff being mentioned in nearly all of these job descriptions. Maybe 50% of job descriptions are mentioning explicitly either Docker or Kubernetes. So definitely a tool that I think that you should be learning. And on that actual same topic, one thing that did surprise me is I didn't really see serverless and functions mentioned an awful lot. Now through personal experience, I know that a lot of cloud teams are using serverless and functions to kind of glue different bits and pieces together within their cloud platform. However, it wasn't actually mentioned in many of the job descriptions at all. Didn't really see it in hardly any of them. Definitely surprised me when going through these job descriptions. And I know a lot of people that are getting into the cloud are focusing really heavily on certifications. But one thing that was interesting from this analysis that actually 10% of job descriptions actually mention certifications at all. Now I think certifications are great and I think that actually they're gonna help you stand out and they're probably gonna help you, for instance, get to an interview. However, it's not something that necessarily companies are specifically asking for. So only 10% of companies were asking for certifications in general, and they were across all of the you know, different Linux or networking and cloud platform. One of the interesting thing that I did see as well, companies weren't actually asking for specific certifications. So very rarely in maybe sort of 1% of these different job descriptions was I seeing companies asking for a specific certificate. So they weren't asking for, let's say, AWS Professional or AWS Associate. They were just asking for AWS certificates in general. Similar certifications is a degree. Now I've heard from a lot of different people that companies are requiring degrees in order to get into the cloud space in general. But from this analysis of these different 100 job descriptions, actually 5%, less than 5% were asking for a degree specifically. Now of those 5%, they were actually asking mostly for a technical degree, so something like computer science. Now I know as well, a hot topic for a lot of you is what different programming languages should you be learning or should you be learning a programming language at all? Python was mentioned in 40% of them, Bash in 15%, Go in 15% as well, Java in 11%, JavaScript or sort of Node.js in 10%, and then with sort of single digit percentages, we had Ruby, C++, PHP. I really hope that helped. I'll share the spreadsheet with you and if you want to go and have a look please do and then if you want to share back any findings that you see in the data or questions that you have more than happy to answer those i think you can find my social media and stuff like that in the description box below